Okay, so let's move on on our journey of exploring the test settings. Next, we come to the web. Here, we see the browser navigation timeout of default value 60 seconds. And this means that UFT will wait for 60 seconds before it fails. It will wait for 60 seconds for the browser. Next, let's move on to the recovery. In here, if you have any recovery scenarios, you will add them here by clicking this add button and you will activate recovery scenarios on every step on air or never. Usually you just leave it on air and a recovery scenario will activate then. That's why it's called the recovery scenario because if an error occurs, you will have some kind of a small script, a recovery scenario there usually in .qrs format that will handle some kind of error for you. That's expected errors that you know will happen. Then we have the log tracking. This is not too important. I guess maybe you can add some log messages to the run results. And after this, we have the local system monitoring. So if you want to have local system monitoring and check to see what's going on with the system as you're running UFT, you can go ahead and enable and then you'll be able to monitor that. So that's pretty much all you guys need to know in the file menu. Let's continue navigating through the rest of these menu options. Thank you.